Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making this shawl wrap. It could be a, a blanket, an afghan for your couch, or um, whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, I made this really, really big because I want to use up all the yarn that I had of this Sunset Nights. Okay, so the size of this is 57.5 which is about 146 centimeters by 27.5 inches, about 70 centimeters. Okay, it's a beautiful stitch, you guys, so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna talk about the yarn that I used. It's gorgeous, it has sequins. So it's the Sunset Nights by Lion Brand. Sorry about the glare. The label's quite shiny. Okay, Lion Brand Sunset Nights. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 250 meters, 273 yards, 90% acrylic, 10% polyester. They consider this a four weight. I find it's more like a three and the the yarn is not wound together it's loose and there were either three or four strands loose strands but boy does it work up nice and it's because of the way they did the strands it's makes your project more lightweight and airy so they suggested a 5.5 millimeter hook which is what I use, an eye hook. It's rubbed off, sorry about that. <laughs> See, this color is, I don't know how to pronounce it, Aries Rock, A-Y-E-R-S Rock. Beautiful shades of pink that go into the beautiful dark burgundy up here. Just gorgeous. Okay, so I used four balls. I had four balls here. I just went ahead and used all of them. So 273 yards times four is what I used. This is all I had left. That's it. Okay, so I used, I don't use one stitch marker and that was just when I was putting my project down so that when I pick my project up again, I'm not pulling out any stitches. And you'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need a darning needle to sew in your ends. So I made approximately 70 rows. The chain is in multiples of eight plus five. The chain I made was 216 plus five. Like I said, you don't have to make it this big. And it's a two row repeat. You'll be repeating rows three and four. And I did color control. I'll just show you. I started off with one ball. I mean, in case you want to use this yarn, you want to make it the way I made it. I started off with one ball. And I just worked it until the end of the ball. And I took the other three balls or cakes and I took them all apart. I put this, the one color in a bag, the next color in a bag, and so on. That's what I did. And so that's how I worked it. That's how I worked it. That's how I got this, this uh, color way here. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to show you a sample here of how to do the stitch. Now it's in multiples of eight plus five. For my shawl, I chained 216, which is divisible by 8, and then I added 5 more at the end. Okay, so let's do a sample. So multiple of 8 plus 5. Okay, when you have your multiple of eight plus five done, we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and we're going to make a single crochet. 
we're going to make a single crochet all along this first row in every chain. So if you've made yours, your chain 216 plus 5, you would end up having 220 single crochets. Okay, so continue putting your single crochets, one single crochet in each chain all the way to the end of this row. Now I'm at the end of the single crochet row. I'm going to chain five and turn my work. Okay, now we're going to skip three stitches and we're going to go into the fourth. So this one that your chain five is coming out of right here, we skip that. Okay, so that's one, two, three, go in the fourth one with a single crochet. This is what we're going to be repeating for this entire row. Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll skip three. So one, two, three, go in the fourth one with a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip three, one, two, three, go in the next one with a single crochet. Continue doing that, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have four stitches left. Okay, one, two, three, four. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, go in that very last one on the end with a single crochet. Okay, we're gonna start the pattern now. It's a two row repeat, so the next row will be the first of the two row repeat. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. You'll be chaining five at the end of every row. Okay, I chained five, turned my work, and in this chain five space, we're going to put a single crochet. Now in this next single crochet, we're going to put a shell stitch and that is five double crochets right into that single crochet. It's one, two, three, four, five. So this is what we have. And then we're going to make a single crochet into this, uh, that chain five space. You're always going to put a single crochet before your shell stitch and a single crochet after. Okay, now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go right past this single crochet and we're going to work into the next chain five space. We're going to put a single crochet. Now the next stitch we're going to work into is our single crochet here. We're going to make our shell. So that's five double crochets. So 
this is how it's looking. And now since we've made a shell, we know our next stitch in this chain five space will be a single crochet. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we skip over this single crochet. We go into the next chain five space and put a single crochet. This is our repeat all the way across this row. Okay, our next stitch we're working into is that single crochet. So we're going to put a shell stitch in there. Five double crochets. So we've made our shell, so we know our next stitch is going to be a single crochet into this chain five space. And the single crochet in, in front of the, or just before the um, shell stitch and after the shell stitch, locks that shell stitch in place. Okay, when you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Go past that single crochet, and you're just going to simply make a single crochet into your very last chain five space. Okay, so that's how your the first row of the two row repeat is going to look. Okay, let's go on to row two of the two row repeat. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn your work. Then you have this first chain five space here. We're going to put a single crochet right in there. Okay, so for this row, this is our repeat. We're going to do chains and we're going to do single crochets. All right, so we do our chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then when we get to our shell, we can count it like this. We're going to skip three. So we're going to skip that single crochet. And then we're going to skip the next two double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and we're going to go in the next double crochet with a single crochet, which is the very middle of your fan. Okay, so we put a single crochet in there. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to work into the chain five space, put a single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're up to our fan. We're going to, or our shell, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to work into the middle double crochet of our, our shell. So like I said, you can count the single crochet as one stitch, two stitch, three stitches, and then go into the fourth one, which is the center of your shell with a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Put a single crochet in your chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Put a single crochet in your middle double crochet of your shell. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you have this chain five at the end. Put a single crochet right in that space. Okay, this is what your pattern's gonna look like. Okay, I'll get you going on the next row, which 
we're going to be repeating this row and this row. So that's row three and four. Okay, so let's repeat row three. Chain five. How is chain five at the end? One, two, three, four, five. Turn your work. Put a single crochet in your chain five space. Next stitch we're going to be working in is this single crochet that's on top of your fan or your shell. You're going to make a shell into that single crochet. Okay, so that is five double crochets. Okay, we've made a shell, so we're going to put a single crochet in the next chain five space. So lock down that shell. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now here we're going to pass that single crochet and work a single crochet into our next chain five space okay now we have our single crochet over our shell we're going to work a shell into that single crochet so five double crochets it's one two three Four, five, and then our next chain five space. What do we put? <laughs> Single crochet to lock down our shell. Okay, and then we'll chain five. One two three four five skip past that single crochet go into your next chain five space with a single crochet there our next stitch is a single crochet above our shell so we're going to put a shell in that single crochet Okay, there's our shell. What do we do after a shell? A single crochet. <laughs> so I'm going to put the single crochet in that next chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. At this very end, when you get to your end, you'll have this chain five, very last chain five. Put a single crochet in there. Okay, we've just repeated row one of our two row repeat. Okay, I'll get you started on the second row of the two row repeat. Okay, start off with a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Do a single crochet in that first chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go into the center stitch of your shell. Chain five, just keep repeating this. Single crochet in your chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the center of your fan, chain five, and so on. So we're repeating rows three and four. 
over and over again. <laughs> so, um, I'll be right back to tell you how many rows I made. Okay, I've made 69 rows. Now, you don't have to make yours this big, unless you want it, like, Afghan size, maybe. Um, so, 69 rows. The last row I stopped on is the one with the chains and single crochets. So now we're going to make a border. So I'm going to chain three at the end. One, two, three. Turn our work around. So when we turn our work around, we're, we're going to be on the front side now. We're going to do the border. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this first stitch here is we have the chain three, which I'm counting as a double crochet. We're going to put two more double crochets in that single crochet. Okay, then we're going to put a single crochet around this chain five. And we're going to go into that single uh, crochet above our uh, shell with a shell, but for the border our shell is going to have seven double crochets rather than five. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and now we're going to make a single crochet around this chain. Now we're going to go into the next single crochet, which is above our diamond shapes here. We're going to put a, a seven double crochet shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a single crochet around our chain. And then a shell of seven double crochets in that next single crochet. And we're just going to repeat this all the way across here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, put your single crochet around the chain, put your seven double crochet um, shell in the next single crochet there, and continue on. And this is what our border will look like. Okay, I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm at the corner. I put my single crochet around the chain after my seven double crochet shell. And now I'm going to go into that end uh, chain space and make three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and then make three more double crochets. So that'll be my corner. Okay, then I'm going to go into the next chain space with a single crochet. on the next chain space with a 
a seven double crochet shell and then just repeat what we were doing ah, sorry it's falling off it's so big <laughs> okay just repeat what we were doing all along our edging here okay one two three four five six seven and then a single crochet in the next chain space next one do your shell seven double crochets okay yep keep going and uh, I'll meet you at the I'll meet you at the very end where we started this border okay I had to come back and show you this next corner because it has to be done a little differently okay so this is how I made it look so I'm going to show you how I did that okay let's just frog this Okay, now I put in the last seven double crochet shell and then in the next chain space I put a single crochet. So now what I'm doing is I'm going into the next chain here um, with three double crochets. Okay, one, two, Three, and I'm going to chain two and then this is where we have our beginning let's see our beginning chain and our um, single crochet row so I'm going to go right let's see I'm going to go right into I think I'm going into a single crochet right here <clears throat> so I've chained two so I'm going to go in that single crochet and I'm going to make three double crochets in there one two three okay that'll help us get around our corner okay so now I have I have um, our diamonds here okay so I want to put I want to put a shell above the diamonds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in the next um, that's just in the chain our chart starting chain single crochet there and then we're going to make a shell in the next one but we're going to go back to the five double crochet shell Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the next one, next spot I want to go is up here right above our shells so I'm going to just skip a stitch or a chain and go in the next one with a single crochet to lock down that shell and then I'm going to make a five double crochet shell right above our row of shells okay so five double crochets one two, three, 
four, five. Okay, so here's our next row of diamonds. So I'm just going to skip one chain, go in the next with our single crochet. And then I'm going to go right above our diamonds here with a five double crochet shell right into that chain. One, two, three, four, five, and then skip a chain, go in the next with a single crochet. And then skip, that's what I did over here, skipped one, and then go in the next one right above our, the row we want to make our shell in and make a five double crochet shell. One, two, three, four, five, and then continue on with that. Skip one, go in the next one with a single crochet. Skip one, go in the next um, chain here that's above our diamonds and put your five double crochet shell. Yeah, so let's take a look here. <laughs> Okay, so that's how it's going to look around your corner. So continue on, and I'll meet you at the end, at the next corner. Okay, so here I am at the next corner. <laughs> and then we have one more corner after that, which will be the last one. And I'll show you how to do that last one as well, or how I'm going to be doing it. All right, so um, I have the five double crochet shell, and then I put a single crochet. I skipped one chain, put a single crochet. Now we're at the corner. So uh, this is a single crochet. So we're going to go into that single crochet. That um, That is a single crochet, right? It's right on the end there. I'm going to go in there with three double crochets. One, two, three, and then chain two. Go back in there with three double crochets. Oh, come on. <laughs> one, two, Three. Okay, so in our first chain, here we're going to put a single crochet. And then the next chain, we're going to go back to our uh, seven double crochet shells. Okay, one, two, three. four, five, six, seven, and then the next chain five, we'll put our single crochet, and then the next chain five, in the chain five, we'll, or in the middle of the chain five, we'll put our seven double crochet, shell stitch and then the next one the single crochet and then the shell stitch and continue on like that let's take a look how does it look it looks good all right now i'll see you at the very last corner we are at the very end <laughs> i put my seven double crochet shell in here the next chain space i put single crochet and now I'm going to put three double crochets in this next chain space chain 
chain two, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that uh, chain three we made, which counts as a double crochet. Slip stitch. Chain one. Oh. <laughs> so it's done. So we just have two ends to sew in. Well, I do one at the beginning of the work and one at the end of the work. All right. Um, so I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. And um, if you make this, please post a pic in my Facebook group. My group is linked below in the description box and uh, please like it really helps us if you click that like and also sharing to your social media really helps us as well and I mean it only takes a second and share to groups that will allow you to share on Facebook um, yeah wherever you have social media you can share our videos um, I really you know would like you to share my my tutorials especially and leave a comment if you would like comments do help us as well so thank you so much and I hope you all have a wonderful day okay, bye for now